The long awaited Mounted Warrior Museum on Fort Cavazos will finally open its doors to the public on Thursday, honoring soldiers of the past and the future. A ribbon cutting ceremony was held this morning and our very own six news reporter Sydney Deshawn got the chance to get an inside glimpse. She joins us now to tell us all about it, Sydney. Yeah, Chris and Lindsay, the community is filled with excitement. This has been in the work for 13 years. It's a museum sharing history and offering a unique perspective of the Mounted Warrior. And there's been blood and sweat and tears that have been poured into to making this a, a reality. A vision from General Bob Shoemaker in the 80s. He said we need a we need a museum that represents all the soldiers uh, and units that have served here and will serve here over time. A collaborative effort between the U.S. Army and the National Mounted Warrior Foundation, the National Mounted Warriors Museum on Fort Cavazos now stands. I can see myself reflected in those exhibits. A tribute and honor to our soldiers. It's really a mix of a traditional museum where a visitor sees artifacts, but it also incorporates things like video, music, images, photographs, art, music, uh, in a very multimedia way that allows people to experience the past in different ways. You see the grass moving, you hear the sounds of the Huey coming in, you see some lights. Exhibits like this, celebrating the rich history of the Fort Cavazos Mounted Warrior Units. Well, it tells the stories of the families, the original families who gave up their land for the formation of the camp in 1942. In hopes to motivate others to serve. We think that they're going to inspire uh, both uh, present generation and future generations through the celebration of the, of the, the courage, the valor, the audacity, you know, th those really endearing characteristics of our soldiers. And this is just phase one. There are plans to expand the museum and build educational and community facilities. We need to raise about another $15 million to build all that. It's all to give back. And this is my tribute to my dad, who served 28 years as an, as an infantry officer. To the brave and the fearless. Thank you. We wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for you, and especially those family members. Now, the museum is also looking for volunteers. It will officially open up to the public on September 19th. That's tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and it is free to visit, guys. I'm sure a lot of our veterans will want to volunteer yes. there. Absolutely. It's fantastic and it looked beautiful. It'll keep growing as well. Yep.